again, Teacher Koy of Easy Mo Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung ating Grade 8 Mathematics Week 7. Tapos ang topic po natin ay Converse, Inverse, and Contrapositive. So, kung bago po kayo sa akin channel, huwag niyo pong kalimutan subscribe at pindutin ang bell icon para po lagi po kayo updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. Okay? So, nung nakaraang video po natin, Diba, na-discuss po natin yung um, week 6, yung if-then statement or the conditional statement. So, tapos ngayon, um, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, our learning competencies we have here determines the inverse, converse, and contrapositive of an if-then statement and illustrates the equivalences of the statement and its contrapositive and the converse and inverse of A statement and our objectives at the end of the lesson students are expected to formulate the converse inverse and contrapositive of the conditional statement and define logical equivalent statements and identify logical equivalent statements so para po mas maintindihan po natin punta na po tayo sa ating lesson 1 so our lesson 1 is converse inverse and contrapositive ano po ba tong converse inverse at saka contrapositive. So, what I've said kanina na nung nakaraang um, video pa natin, yung week 6 ng ating grade 8 mathematics, nag-discuss pa tayo tungkol sa if-then statement or the conditional statement. ba? Yung if close at saka then close. Tapos yung hypothesis po natin ay P. Tapos yung ating conclusion ay Q. So, if P, then Q. ba? If hypothesis, then conclusion. Kung meron kang ginawang um, experiment, siyempre, may merong outcome or conclusion, di ba? Or result. So, three statements can be formed from an implication if then, uh, if P, then Q, or if, if then statement, di ba? These are its converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, ano ba ba tong converse? So, we have here the table and the symbol. So, we have here the if then statement or the conditional statement, diba? If P, then Q. Okay? If P, our hypothesis, then Q, our conclusion. And the symbol is this one, diba? P, then Q. Okay? So, yung converse, to converse, ang nangyari, ang nangyari dito is, ang nagiging conclusion natin ay yung Q. Diba? Kasi, oh, converse, if Q, then P. Kung baka, binaliktad natin. Diba? Yung after ng if close or if na word ay yung Q, yung ating conclusion. Tapos, after ng then na word ay yung P, yung ating hypothesis. Okay? So, if Q, then P. So, that is the converse. Tapos, yung ating symbol ay ito, Q, tapos may arrow, then P. Okay? So, that's the converse. So, simple lang. Pag sinabi natin converse, kabaliktaran, di ba? Yung conclusion natin nagiging hypothesis. Tapos, yung hypothesis natin nagiging conclusion. So, inverse. Ano itong inverse? So, kung nakikita natin dito, inverse is if not P, then not Q. So, ibig sabihin nito is, kumbaga, the negative of our if then. Di ba? Ito, P. Ito yung Hypothesis natin, Q, ang ating conclusion. So, if not P, kumbaga negate or negative of P, then negative of Q. So, that is the inverse. Diba? Negate ng ating if-then statement. Tapos, ito yung symbol niya. Okay? Tapos, yung contrapositive, if not Q, then not P. So, this is the negative of our converse. Diba? Yung converse natin kay if Q, then P. Uh, tapos yung contrapositive, if not Q, then not P. So, contrapositive is just a negative of our converse. Inverse naman ay, ay negative ng ating if-then statement or the conditional statement. Tapos yung converse naman ay yung kabaliktara ng if-then statement. Kung baga, yung ating nagiging hypothesis ay yung ating Q, which is our conclusion, di ba? Tapos yung ating conclusion ay yung P, which is our hypothesis. Okay. So, para mas maintindihan po natin, we will go to our okay, 
Ito muna. We have here the the example. Yes, in the example. So study the table below. So we have here the statement. A triangle has three sides. Okay, this is the statement. Ginawa natin ng if then statement or the conditional statement. So magiging if a polygon is a triangle, then it has three sides. Kung nakikita natin dito, after ng if na word, a polygon is a triangle, this is our hypothesis. And after ng then na word, it has three sides, is our conclusion. Diba? So that is our if then form or, or the if then statement. Now, what is the converse of this one? So, since yung converse po natin ay kabaliktaran natin if then, yung ating Q nagiging hypothesis tapos ang iyong ating T nagiging conclusion. So, ang nangyari dito, after ng if word ay a polygon has three sides. Diba? Then, this is our, diba? A polygon has three sides. This is our conclusion ng ating if then statement. So, mas nauna sa, diba? Andito na sa sa nagiging ano sa hypothesis natin. Tapos, after ng then na word, it is a triangle. This is our hypothesis ng ating if then form, di ba? Pagtapos pagdating pagdating din sa converse, nagiging conclusion na siya. So if a polygon has three sides, then it is a triangle. So kabaliktaran ng if then. Okay. Kumaga um ano lang ah ay ah kumag inuna lang natin yung um conclusion dun sa converse, di ba? Tapos nasa huli yung um hypothesis. Okay. So inverse Inverse is the negative of our if then form. So we have here the statement: If a polygon is not a triangle, diba? a polygon is a triangle. This is our um, hypothesis. Nothing if then form. Nilagyan ng not kung negative. If a polygon is not a triangle, then it does not have three sides. Diba? Kung maga, negate ng ating if then form. Tapos yung contrapositive naman ay the negative of our converse. So our converse is this one, di ba? If a polygon has three sides, then it has a tri then, it, then it is a triangle. And our contrapositive is the negative of our converse is if a polygon does not have three sides, di ba? Then it is not a triangle, di ba? Negative not, may not. Nakikita not. Okay, so that's it. That's our example. Okay, so we have here the exercise. Let's try to answer this one. Okay, formulate the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the given statement below. We have here the statement, complementary angles have a sum measures of 19 degrees. Diba? Complementary angles, two acute angles. Tapos, if we add that one, if exactly 19 degrees is your result, then that, they're complementary angles. So, ang ating if then form ay if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measure is 90 degrees. So that is our if then form. So how about our converse? Okay, so converse natin ay siguro, uh, lagi natin ito, uh, since converse ay yung Q yung mauna, tapos P yung nasa huli, so magiging if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees, then the two angles are complementary. Diba? Mas nauna, mas nauna yung Q kay sa P. Okay. Inverse. Inverse is the negative of our if-then statement. So, our if-then statement is if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. So, inverse is if two angles are not complementary, di ba? Then, the sum of their measures is not 90 degrees. Di ba? Di ba? Pwede. The negative of if-then if, if form. And then, our contrapositive is the negative of our converse. Yung converse natin kanina, di ba? Sarabi ko, if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees, then the two angles are complementary. So, our contrapositive is, if the sum of the measures is not 90 degrees, therefore, or then, the two angles are not complementary. Okay, so that's it. That's um, how to formulate the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the given statement or, or of the given if-then form or the conditional statement. Okay, so for our lesson number two, we have here truth table of conditional statement and contrapositive converse and inverse. We have here the table summarizes the truth values of an application or conditional statement and its converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So we have to remember this one because it's very useful sa ating 
topic, di ba? Okay, so, we have here the example. Um, when two statements have the same exact truth values, they, say, they are said to be logically equivalent. Kung ang dalawang statement ay, they have the same truth values. Di ba? If we go back here to the table, magkaparehas lang truth values, then they are logically equivalent. Okay, so, we have an example. Yung statement na if P din Q, at saka yung if not Q, then not P, they are logically equivalent since they have the same exact truth values. If we go back to our table, so, di ba, if P, then Q, di ba, true. Tapos, yung if not Q, then P, true. So, they are, they are logically equivalent since they have the same truth values. Okay. So, ito naman. If Q, then P, and if not P, then Q are logically um, equivalent since they have the same exact truth values. Kung ating titinan sa ating table, if Q, maybe if Q, then P, and if not P, then Q. Diba ito? Pareho sila ng truth values. Therefore, they, they are logically equivalent. Okay. So, next. Okay. So, that's it for our um, lesson 2. Our truth table of conditional statement, contrapositive, converse, and inverse. So, what we're going to do is just memorize this one, the table, and try to understand. Okay? Kasi ito na to, as, as you can see it here, meron siyang truth values. Okay? So, that's it for our lesson number 2. And for our lesson number 3, the logical equivalent statements and an if-then statement and its contrapositive are logically equivalent. The converse and the, and the inverse of an if-then statement are also logically equivalent. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung ating if-then statement at saka yung contrapositive natin ay logically equivalent. Diba? Yung ibig sabihin, yung truth value nila ay the same, exactly the same truth values. Then, ang kanilang converse at saka inverse ay also logically equivalent or the same truth values. Okay, so we have here the example. Write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the given conditional statement. If two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are also congruent. And identify the logically equivalent statement. So, if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are also congruent. Okay, so, yung ating if-then statement, diba? If two triangles are congruent, and their corresponding parts are also congruent. Yung ating converse, Kabaliktaran ng ating if-then statement, yung ating Q nagiging hypothesis, tapos yung ating P nagiging conclusion, nagiging ganito na siya, converse. If the corresponding parts of the two triangles are congruent, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay. So, yung ating inverse, yung inverse natin ay the negative sa ating if-then statement. Diba? So, if two triangles are not congruent, then their corresponding parts are not congruent. Diba? This is the neg negative of our if-then statement. Yung ating contrapositive is the negative of our converse. This is our converse. So, contrapositive, contrapositive is the negative of our converse. So magiging, so, magiging ganito. If the corresponding parts of two triangles are not congruent, then two triangles are not congruent. So, since i-identify natin yung um, equivalent statements, logically equivalent statements, so what we're going to do is magiging ganito. Logically equivalent statements, di ba ito po yung if then natin, if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are also congruent. Is equivalent to if the corresponding parts of two triangles are congruent, then the two triangles are congruent. Di ba? This is our if Q, then P. Di ba? Ito yung if P, then Q natin. Tapos ito, if Q, then P. Diba? Pagkapareho lang sa equivalent statement. Okay. So, yung isa naman, if two triangles are not congruent, then their corresponding parts are not congruent. This is our, the negative of our, um, if then, this is our converse. Ano? Inverse. Diba? Inverse? Yes, inverse. This is our inverse. This one is our inverse. Our inverse is equivalent to our contra- Positive. Our contrapositive is if the corresponding parts of the two triangles are not congruent, then the two triangles are not congruent. Kung ating tingnan yung statement, di ba, ang kalabasan ay pareho sila yung truth statement. Na totoo naman na if two triangles are not congruent, then the corresponding parts are not congruent, di ba? 
equivalent siya sa if the corresponding parts of two triangles are not congruent, then the two triangles are not congruent. Diba? They have the same um, truth values. Diba? Yung ating um, inverse at saka ating contrapositive. Same also with our if-then statement and the converse. Okay? So, that's it. And once again, it's my teacher Koy of Easy Pan Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.